Hello, and this is um, take two on part four of this tutorial series for the Google Plus API. Um, as you can see here, um, I have recorded it previously, and if we go to YouTube, you will see that there is no audio, and none whatsoever. Don't know why this happened, but it happened, and so, yeah, I'm going to be recording it now. So, what we're going to be doing, so let me just close these down is we will be starting creating our um, program again. Now this is the code which we used in the last video which you won't have seen because I'm re-recording it so yeah. Um, this is the code which you would have used in part 3. We are not using that anymore. I decided against it. I don't like it anymore. Um, it's getting too complicated for a basic tutorial on Google Plus API. And so what we're going to be creating is this which is a piece of coding which um, the piece of code which um, allows us to connect to the API and fetch people's data <coughs> and so as you will see is um, what we've done is we have required once two different files it's the same files as the other um, as the other one which we created in the last video. It's the API client.php and the API plus service.php. And here we have to create a client um, object in the form of a variable where we equal it to, or make it equal to a new API client. Then we need to create a client, um, we need to use the client object to set the developer's key, and then that is what you get from your Google API console. And that is that code here. Uh, from there what you need to do is you need to create a service variable which is equal to um, a new ob instance of the API plus service um, object class and um, make the parameter there the client variable or the client object. And then what you need to do is we create a new variable, I'm calling this one me, and it's equal to the service object um, to the people class oops, sorry, to the people class and then to the get method and then inside there what I've used so far is just the um, it is my user ID for Google Plus so if you type in plus then what you need to do is you go to your profile and your user ID is the numbers which are between the two slashes so it is for me it's that number for say Bucky here, it is that number for let's see um, this person for Ben Kerbride, then it is this number and for Justin Hendricks it is this number and so on. Um, as you can see all the numbers have a fairly um, common sort of ring to them, they all start with like 1 and a 0, they all are fairly long numbers, so make sure you copy it down properly, and then from there I'm just going to do a variable dump which will show me a list of the array, it's show me an array of everything that is there. Um, and then so I'm going to save this file, um, and I'm going to upload it onto my server and I'll show you how, what this code does. Right, okay, so if we go into the touch space here, oh, one thing I haven't done is I haven't actually got my user ID, I'm using Bucky's at the moment. Here we go, copy that over, and we upload it again. That won't be a second. Okay, now that's done. Um, I'm going to go over here, refresh the page again, and as you can see, it is just a big array. And so, if we go and view source, we can see it in a more structural, in a more structured format. And as you can see, we have various different pieces of information. Like we have our ID provided, our display name, tagline gender, about me, my URL, 
then we also have the URL of the image of my image. Um, so I assume if I copy and paste this over into a file, there you go. That's my profile picture. Um, it's got a link to my one of my URLs. My first one is my YouTube channel, my second one is my Google Plus profile, my third one is some other form of my profile, and it's got stuff about my organisations, like which schools I went to, a college, who I work for, stuff like that. And then it's also got like places lived and such. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is go to show you how to get some of these some of this information displayed on the screen. It's really simple and if you've ever worked with PHP before then you should be able to get this done fairly easily because it is simply an array. And so if I wanted to get my display name, all I'd have to do is that, save that and I'll upload it. And if I upload that now, then you can see here it's changed my display name. If I want to also display my gender, then I'll do. I'll just do a little quick line break. Me. And this is going to display my gender. And if I upload this as well, then I will have two things shown on the screen. And that's me, I'm Mayo, and um, my name is Alex Bowers. So as you can see, this is the people class working, and all we are using so far is the get um, function, which is the only one which they've provided so far, because this is um, a basic API for now. They are still working on providing more functions as far as I'm aware. But as you can see, there's two different classes. There's the people class and the activities class. So the next tutorial I'll be covering the activities class, I think. So thanks for watching, and sorry that it's later than it should be, but I did end up having to re-record this video. So see you later, and thanks for watching.